Hello there. This is Becky's Beauty Makeup. My name is Becky and I upload videos about makeup, beauty, and random lifestyle vlogs. If you are new here, I hope you become part of the family by subscribing to the channel, liking this video, clicking on that bell so that you can be notified every time I upload a new video. If you are not new here, then welcome back, beauty. In today's video, we're going to talk about five skin types, so keep on watching. First of all, why is knowing our skin type so important? Well, knowing our skin type will help us determine what skin products to use and what foundation to use. The reason there are so many products out in the market is because everybody has a different need. Now, before we go on, I do want to say that I'm not an expert. What I am going to tell you in this video is off of things that I have researched, and I encourage you to do your own research as well. The first skin type that I want to talk about is normal skin type. I personally am very jealous <laughs> of people who have normal skin type, but I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> Just kidding. People with normal skin type usually have smooth skin. Their skin is usually well balanced. They are neither dry nor oily and blemish free. People with normal skin can be minimal on their skincare routine, which would be more for preventative purposes than to fix a problem. The next skin type I want to talk about is dry skin. So people with dry skin, depending on how extreme, may have flaky skin, coarse texture, and can have fine lines appearing on their skin. For some, your skin can even crack, be itchy, and even bleed. Someone with dry skin is going to want to use creams or ointments that are heavier or thicker in their skincare routine rather than lotions to help keep moisture in. You'll want to use oil-based rather than water-based products. The third skin type that I want to talk about is oily skin. Someone with oily skin tends to have more blemishes larger pore and even acne they even tend to look shiny or oily now just because you have oily skin does not mean that your skin is hydrated your skin can be still dehydrated needing moisture and over produces oil because of it so you still want to use a moisturizer but you're going to use a water-based or gel-based moisturizer so the fourth skin type I want to talk about is combination skin. So this is where you're going to have an oily T-zone, which is your forehead and down your nose, sometimes the chin, and a dry and dry patches on your cheek area. But again, patchy and tight feeling skin on the cheeks and maybe some blemishes on the T-zone area. But with combination skin, tend to double up on their skincare products. You're going to use something for dry skin here and then oily skin on your T-zone area. Because remember, your skin is different. You need different products because it needs different nutrients. The fifth skin type, which some people would say is more of a condition than a skin type, is sensitive skin. People with sensitive skin get easily irritated some may feel burning or stinging with certain products that they use. Now, people can get, people can have a combination of a skin type and a skin condition. We won't get too much in depth with it, but for example, somebody with oily skin can also have rosacea. Oily skin is a skin type and the rosacea is a skin condition. I, for example, am blessed with dry and sensitive skin. So again, why is knowing your skin type so important well i'll let you in in a little secret i have not always been sensitive skin i have always been on the drier side but i have been i have had sensitive skin for i would say about three years now and this happened because i overused the wrong products i was using products that were dedicated more or were created more for oily skin so my skin, so I sensitized my skin and now I have sensitive skin. So I encourage you to figure out your skin type and use products accordingly. Now I am going to end this video here. The continuation of this will be on another video. I do want to do a video on key ingredients for specific skin type. So don't forget to subscribe to my channel, hit that like button and turn on your notifications.
And always remember, you are beautiful and you are enough. And I will see you on the next one. Bye, beauties.